Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, you being alive to see this month, I promise you, it's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A few years ago, there was a brother in Villawood. A few years ago, the night before Ramadan, I'm not telling you two, three nights or a week, the night before Ramadan, he had a car accident. It was him, his cousin and a girl in the car. The night before Ramadan, my brothers, Allah Azza wa Jal took his life. Ramadan came so close, but he was so far. So my brothers and sisters, do not waste this month. And I'm going to say something, so, you know, Imesh, you have to be selfish in this month. This month is about you. It's about you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because every one of us has shortcomings. Every one of us knows himself that he's had a terrible year. This is my chance to make it up, man. This is my chance. This is the month Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling me, enter my vault and take whatever you please. Don't waste it. And my brothers and sisters, I have to leave you with this warning. It's harsh, but I have to leave you with it. Otherwise, I feel like I've done injustice towards my message. Yes, it's a beautiful month. Yes, it's the month of forgiveness. Yes, it's the month of giving. Yes, it's the month of Quran and Ibadah and Salah and charity. Yes. But there's a big warning, my brothers and sisters. The Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who had Rahmah in his heart. Imagine this is a man who had Rahmah in his heart towards his enemies. When he conquered Mecca, my brothers, and he came back to Mecca, he faced the people that expelled him and his people. They exiled him and the Sahaba. They tortured him and his companions. They gave him such a hard time. When he came back to Mecca, victorious. Imagine Kuffar. They asked, what will you do with us? He says, go, today you are free, man. This same man, this same man, my brothers, stood in his own masjid in front of Sahaba and said, may he be disgraced. May he be disgraced. May his nose be rubbed in the dirt in humiliation. You know, my brothers, for Sahaba to hear the Prophet curse such a man, Brother Ibakud, Sahaba started shaking. Allahu Akbar, you, Ya Rasulullah, you're cursing a man like this? No, you didn't curse your enemies. So they asked whom, O Prophet of Allah? He says, the man that lives to see Ramadan and lives out the days of Ramadan and finishes Ramadan and doesn't have his sins forgiven by Allah, may this man be disgraced.